it's Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Need a little bit of help with your maths? Well, hopefully this video will make things a little bit clearer. Let's go and have a look and see. So this is usually a method, the compact method that you use after you've trialled using counters, then a number line, then the partitioning method where you separate the numbers into their tens and to their units. And once you've tried all those methods, then you work towards the compact method. So first of all, it says write out the numbers in the tens and the units columns. So 83 take away 51. I then do my equal sign and I carry on by subtracting the units. 3 take away 1 is 2. I then subtract the tens. 8 tens take away 5 tens is 3 tens. Write down my answer. 32. Now you can use this method for bigger numbers that have hundreds and thousands in and it's exactly the same. Always start with the units and keep going backwards. I'm also going to show you what happens if you don't have enough units to carry on the calculation. So this time I'm going to have 83 take away 54. So I carry on, I just write out the numbers in the tens and the units, 83 take away 54. I then subtract the units, 3 take away 4, you always start with the top number. If I have 3 fingers, I cannot take away 4 fingers. So I can't change that around and do 4 take away 3, it doesn't work like that. So I will need to transfer a 10 or borrow a 10 from next door. So I had 8 tens. I'm going to leave seven tens behind and pass one ten over into the units column. So this becomes 13 and then four. So 13 take away four is nine. I carry on and I subtract the tens. Seven tens take away five tens is two tens. So my answer is 29. Make sure you always start with the units and just check that you have enough for the calculation. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.